Greg, a trip to Midlands to face Birmingham this Saturday. What are you expecting heading into the game? A really tough game. Um, you know, it was a feisty encounter um, when we played them and earlier on in the season uh, at our place. Obviously, we came out on top of that game, so we'll be looking to do the same, I think. Um, but yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a good game. Two teams that were desperate for the points, and um, we came out on top of that one, so I'm sure they'll be looking to do one over. But we, um, we are looking for the three points as well and start looking up the table. Yeah, our away form has been good recently with one win and two draws in our last three games. What do you think the key has been regarding that form? Uh, I, I don't know. I think it's just the belief of going, it's, it's embracing the challenge of going to different grounds and then the belief in the squad that if we can get something, there's something that extra bit special sometimes about an away win. Um, obviously, we, we're, we're backed really well away from home. We always have been and, and we really thrive on it. I think you look at Peterborough last week, um, particularly shooting into our own fans, uh, you know, scoring the two goals in front of them was great. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just it's just something about getting three points away from home that, that we really strive for, obviously. And like, three points is three points, sorry, but um, and our away win is always that extra bit special. Focusing on that result against Peterborough, you know, 3-0 victory, how much of a benchmark is that performance heading into this game? Yeah, it has to be. You have to look back on that. That was obviously, if you look, that's probably our best scoreline of the season. Um, three goals away from home, a clean sheet. Uh, you know, you can't ask for much more against a team that's round about you. There was... A lot involved in that game, obviously just with uh, different circumstances from both teams and things, but you know it was a, a great game for us, three points, but that's all it was and we need to go and back up, up now uh, with another good away performance at Birmingham. For yourself, you've been in the team the last few few weeks, how have you um, found yourself being back in the starting eleven? Yeah, great, look, it's obviously sometimes, you know, a new manager comes in, everybody gets a shot, that's that's fair enough, um, and you, when you have the jersey you need to try and keep it, um, hopefully I've done enough to to stake a claim and continue um, with the jersey going forward, uh, you know. But like this part and parcel of football, you, you take these as learning curves, um, and and you use it to, to go and try and better yourself for when you do get an opportunity. And hopefully, I can keep built. I feel like since I've came back in, I'm, I'm relatively pleased with how I've been personally. So hopefully, I can um, keep building on that come Saturday. Obviously, our last game was against West Brom, and sadly it was a defeat. But what areas have been worked on in training following that result? You know, we, we analysed that game, um, I think it was a bit of a sour one to take, I think two maybe lapses of concentration cost us, and, and they're a strong outfit, West Brom, they're, they're, they're well drilled, they know, they know the league, um, so maybe, yeah, that is getting a bit more streetwise, um, and, and maybe, yeah, again, obviously this league you need to be clinical, we had many opportunities to, to get back in the game and even go, go a goal ahead, but you can't um, shoot yourself in the foot, um, we did that, but look, we, we're a very honest group, we, we learn from it, but... We don't um, get too down and too high when we, when we win. Um, it's, it's important we, we analyse it, yeah, but we, we use the, the negative to build on the positives going forward. This Saturday marks the 10th game under the management of Shota Avaladze. What have, what's he been like with you? He's been great. Um, obviously, I've, I've known him as a person before. He, before he, not Sorry, not known him personally, but I know of who he is just from his career at, uh, north of the border. Um, so, you know, I, I've... It was great when, um, getting to know him and seeing what he's like and I'd only heard good things from people that had worked with him um, at my previous club. So it's been uh, a real learning curve for all of us. Obviously a lot of us have been used to just predominantly British managers but I feel like in, in football you, you need to widen your horizon sometimes and we're, all, we're always learning every day, we're learning. Um, tactically I feel like I'm, um, I'm growing, like, sorry, um, my knowledge has grown as well so it's been, it's been great um, and we just want to keep on building um, and keep looking at the table, but it's an exciting time for the club. And there's going to be over 1,100 fans heading down to Birmingham on Saturday. How important are the fans going to be in trying to get a result? Yeah, massive. Like I touched on earlier, you particularly with Peterborough game, um, it was almost like they were the home fans. You know, they filled out that full stand, I'm sure, at Birmingham as well. They'll be, you'll be able to see them very clearly and, and, and hear them, and it's great. And, and there's nothing better than sending um, your, your fans home from an away day with three points. I touched back to, like, to Bournemouth, for example, as well. You know, like... You can see how good it was for them and how happy they were. And for us, we thrive on that. And that's something we're going to be looking to do come the weekend.